Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, transfer files onto a uh, camcorder hard drive. This is the Panasonic HS900. It'll also work for the TM900 um, and probably some other camcorders too. Um, basically, the camcorder hard drive is read only when you connect up to your computer. Um, it's just for, they've just built it so you can record video and, and pictures on it and not use it as like a, a backup facility. So the disk write protection, if you plug it into the computer you will find that it's read only. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can put files on it anyway uh, but before you think, oh great, I can use this as a, as a backup hard drive when you put files on the hard drive they will be read only so I can copy the you know, I can copy any like a document file or anything to the hard drive, but when you connect up to the computer, it will be read only. So you will be able to delete them if you wanted to save a backup to the hard drive. Um, so you've got some important files and you want to back them up on here, you can do that and access them. But if you want, if you if you wanted to make modifications, you will need to do the process again and delete them off the hard drive because you can't modify them. So worth bearing that in mind before you watch this. Right, so what you'll need is an SD card. So if your camcorder doesn't have one or doesn't take one, you don't have one, uh, this isn't going to apply to you. I've got a 32 gig SD card here. So I'll just set this up and put it into picture taking mode. Turn it on. Now, don't worry about what the picture is, just, just take a picture. Oh, but make sure you've set it on uh, media select to pictures and go into SD card. Alright, so once that's done, uh, just turn it off. Uh, make sure the access light up there isn't on. And take out the card. And now we're going to go to the computer. Then you'll need to just plug your card in to the computer, so I've got a little adapt here. Okay, so once you've got your card in, um, you want to navigate, uh, go to the folder where you've just taken the photo, this one I've got here. I'm just going to copy it and paste it in this folder I've made. Uh, this folder I've made is just on a C drive, so if, what you need to do before this is just go into your C drive, make a new folder, um, be called whatever, I've called it demo. Okay, once you copy that picture over, press run, go into the command prompt and change the directory to C uh, slash wherever you are. So I'm in demo now in my folder and the next thing, what we're going to do is now we need the container. I'm going to combine this image with the files that I want it to have. but Oh, I've just taken a step over there. Okay, so now command box ready. Open up TrueCrypt and create a new volume. Probably, if you're just using it as a backup, you're not really going to want to use a great password on it. If you navigate to uh, your folder, demo, which is where I'm, where I'm at, uh, just create a file name, so I'll call it demo. Right, so when you come to volume size, think of how many files you need. You'll only be able to go up to the max capacity of your card. For me, that would be just 32 gigs. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to put in um, 10 megabytes. And we'll just put an easy password in there. Um, obviously, you need to use a better one if you want a good... Anyway, so that's, that's made. <coughs> so exit that. What you need to do now is in demo, you'll see now that I've got this TrueCrypt file, it's just unmarked. Um, so go back into the command prompt and type this copy slash b, copy the JPEG space plus space demo space and then put the output name. So I will, I'll move it one on. It's important to call it dot JPEG and it'll copy that. Uh, you can close that down. Uh, so you see, this is the file we just made, and this is the photo I took before. They're the same. 
so this is your TrueCrypt file in here so go back into TrueCrypt drag this in and mount it you're going to get this this error message come up your password's wrong anyway so mount it again have the same problem right it's going to pop up with this message blah 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 click ok come up with another one ok right now what you've done is mount with the drive so I've mounted it here in W but you see it says it's not functional uh, what that means is you've got to format it so just go into computer make sure you select the right drive right click format um, settings will probably be fine and then you just click go and it's complete <clears throat> now if I just copy a song um, paste that in there okay now I've got this song and okay so once you've copied across all your files into your new drive um, dismount them so this is my SD card folder so just copy that across to the SD card alright so what you can do is just eject that and close that down okay so now I've got my SD card pull it back into camera and this time uh, change it to picture viewing mode power it back on um, and make sure in your settings that you're viewing SD card okay so now you can see these two these two pictures here if I just zoom in on the screen that'll be a bit blurry and shit but it doesn't matter as long as you can see if I click it it's only displaying the thumbnail unlike the other one because it's corrupt so what you do to get on hard drive is just navigate to menu copy uh, this one SD card to hard drive picture and then you just select this one ok, I'll say I'll do it in a minute hit next, start done exit so now the JPEG with a hidden file is on this drive and I'll show you now what happens when you plug that into the computer ok so we've plugged in the camera by the USB you see it's sitting up here, it's Cam HDD just click in here, go into DCIM um, might be the last folder yeah ok so this is the JPEG that we've got the MP3 in if we go to TrueCrypt, drag it across and mount it remember it will probably ask you the password three times unless you change the settings in TrueCrypt to look into the volume header um, anyway but unlike last time you have to reformat it and it will pop up here local disk W and you can see that the mp3 is there and you can open fuck it and you. No, fuck you. It's, it's a bit rude die, shit. but I it's a proper song <laughs> So anyway, and you can put whatever documents you want in there. Um, lastly, I'm not sure whether there's a cap on the file size. Um, I have tested it up to a gig, but the higher up you go in terms of file size on the TrueCrypt volume, it will take longer for the camcorder to detect it's there when you want to copy it from the SD card to the hard drive. So if you do a massive one and it's you don't think it's there and you can't copy it, just wait, it should show up. And the advantage to doing it with our TrueCrypt instead of combining with say a WinRAR file you have the option of opening the file straight up you won't have to copy and paste your JPEG onto your local disk uh, it can just mount, mount from the thing even though it's read only so I hope that was useful if anyone could take this step further so you can read and write please let me know I'm sure I and other people will be grateful for that cheers